I'm Nick Viney with uh, Badgerland Green Farms. We're in uh, Evansville, Wisconsin. This is my family's home farm. We uh, farm about 1,800 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat. Uh, with, uh, I farm with Josh Krautman. Um, kind of standing here in front of one of our strip-till cornfields from this year. Um, last fall, we decided to try uh, strip-till in 20-inch rows. Uh, kind of a uh, interesting experience. We learned some very valuable lessons. Um, really. Uh, hoping to get our soils warmed up and dried out a little sooner in the spring so we can get out there and plant. Um, I don't really personally have the patience to be a strict no-tiller. Um, our soil is just didn't work. Um, we did find out that uh, we did find some very positive things with the strip till. It's uh, a good system we think we'll stick with. Um, the challenges were more related to uh, the 20-inch equipment. Um, we were limited to pulling a 12-row 20-inch strip till bar and uh, we have a 24 row 20 inch planter. Um, we had a little pretty tough time getting the strips to always match up and be consistently 20 inches apart. Um, so going forward uh, we're going to probably look at switching to 30 inch rows and having a strip till bar that is uh, the same width as our planter. We didn't feel the economics were there for our size farm to be affording a big four wheel drive and a 24 row 20 strip till bar at this time. Um, we did think in the past we've seen some very good things with 20 inch rows, probably an 8 to 10 bushel increase. Um, but I, at this time, I think it's best for our operation to move forward with 30 inch row strip till bar um, and get that system down. If in the future the equipment gets a little better and possibly a little cheaper, um, maybe that'll be look, something we'll look at getting back into. Um, but at this time, I think for us, it's 30 inch rows is probably the best fit. And that's what we're going to continue doing this fall.